I think that for the voters today, the situation is very complicated. You have, uh, on the one hand, uh, uh, populists at the two extremes. On the uh, right wing, you have uh, Marine Le Pen. On the left wing, you have uh, uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon. Then you have the traditional uh, government parties who are uh, Les Républicains on the one hand with uh, François Fillon and the Parti Socialist uh, with uh, Benoît Hamon. And a newcomer who is quite interesting uh, with uh, uh, Emmanuel Macron who is uh, making a, a different offer in the market, something which is brand new. And surprisingly, he has been able to reach to the level where he can be a very serious contender to become the next president. Moïse Lévy, what does France now need to do to, to change its image? A lot of people um, in the Anglo-Saxon world still see it as a country that does not want to reform itself, where labor laws are archaic and difficult to navigate. I know you're launching, and you launched it yesterday at the Elysee Palace, a Viva Tech conference. This is a second time running. Why are you trying to promote a new image in, in working with startups in France? Uh. There is two different aspects. If you look at the country and the need for transformation and for a lot of reforms, there is a consensus from all the political parties and all the great politicians that there is a need to transform the country. And um, they are quite sincere when they are starting to work on the idea of transforming and reforming. Then, when it comes the election time, they are changing progressively their mind, with the exception of François Fillon, uh, and uh, to a certain extent, uh, Emmanuel Macron. And we see then, uh, when they are in office, that there is a lot of uh, resistance to change. I think it takes courage to change, and I believe that the French people are more ready than the uh, politicians to change the country and to make the reforms. Obviously, people don't like reforms. They don't like to see that their own sake will be changing. They don't like to see that they will be changing their situation, uh, the, the way they are working, etc. This is not something which please anyone. Nevertheless, if we want to have a bright future, future there is no choice. There is no other option. We have to make some very serious painful uh, reforms. And we know that the reforms are painful. We know that this will be hurting a lot of people, but we have no choice. We have to do it, and we have to do it in a clever way, uh, smartly, and uh, at once. We should not believe that it will take five years to change the country. Right. We have to make all the reforms immediately after the election, and then we will take five years to uh, build on a reformed country.